So what we're going to do here in a couple minutes is an approved screening device test. So this is just a handheld device that we'd have with us in the police cart. And it's, this isn't what we would use as evidence in court. This is simply a device that tells us what range you're in. So it's really a pass, warn, fail. Um, so in a warn range, for example, that means you're, you're over 40 milligrams per cent. So in Saskatchewan, okay. if all things being equal, that would be a 72 hour suspension and a three day vehicle impound unless there are other aggravating right. factors. Um, but before you administer one of those, it's when you stop a car and you yeah. walk up to the window and the driver rolls down the window, are there some cues that you look at first before we say we're going to go to that? It depends whether you're working mandatory alcohol screening or just traditional methods. So under okay. mandatory alcohol screening, there's no reason to look for any cues. You're just going to... We have the ability right now to simply demand a breath right. test. So that's yeah. what we're doing uh, when we do mandatory. Otherwise, officers are looking for things like smell of alcohol. They're asking drivers. It's, there's no magic... There's no magic solution here. Right. We all have grown up in a culture where alcohol is relatively prevalent. And I, when I used to teach this to recruits, I'd say, you know, we all have that uncle at Christmas that would come <laughs> over when we were little kids and we'd think, what's wrong with Uncle Joe, right? <laughs> so we all have the ability to, to, to detect impairment. and yeah. So that's what we're doing at the roadside. So this would be saving you time, saving you energy. Uh, in, in a sense, yes, but if you're testing every single driver, then it I is. Not, yeah. it, so what I've found, we've been sort of doing pilot projects on this. We're, the officers using mandatory alcohol are, are screening about half to a third of what other officers are. It's just more effective because right. you know 100% whether or not there is alcohol on board. Okay, this is going to remind me of the old WKRP yep. uh, thing, and hopefully this will be... This will work out. We'll just turn this guy on here, and I'll, I'll let you. You'll see there's a little straw in front of it okay. here, right? So because you're a celebrity, I put a brand new straw on here. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> so you'll basically blow into it the same way you're blowing into a balloon to okay. inflate it, and we'll need about five or six seconds of oh, breath. So I'm going to stand up. Normally we hold them okay. just because there are buttons you can accidentally push and whatnot. Okay. And so and and I do some cheerleading normally as well. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, take a breath right. and go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good stuff. Thank you. So if we watch the uh, results together here, yeah. you'll see you got a goose egg there. Zero. That's a big zero. So that's really the only test that you didn't study for where you actually want to get a zero. <laughs> and you know, it's that simple. And uh, for the majority of these tests, the people, the drivers aren't even getting out of their cars. Right. They're in the comfort of their vehicle. They're doing this. We watch the result pop up together. We have a laugh. It. I, oh, is that right? I make the same joke with every <laughs> Every driver. time, every single time? <laughs> so once I start getting repeat Why? customers. <laughs> Why go from something that works? Right? Exactly.